Hey tribe, welcome to HGDC, HG Designs Crochet. I'm Heather, your host, and I'm 28 from the United Kingdom. This little channel of mine is a bubble filled with creativity and empowerment, documenting my journey, making moments and memories. So if you are returning, hi guys, welcome back. I hope you're all good. It's the run up to Christmas. I said it. And if you are if you are brand new, then hi, hello, and welcome. Thank you for joining us and spending this time with our little tribe. So today I have a little announcement, and I've got two projects that I'm working on that I wanted to share with you. So let's do the announcement first. I am going to be doing a live YouTube session video, whatever you call it. Um, so save the date, September 29th, I am going to be on YouTube live and you can join me. Um, I've written this down, I had to check where most of the tribe lives so that I could try and do it at a time that works for us all. There's over 700 of us and we live all around the world. Um, I have, I was actually quite amazed at where everybody is from and watches from. There's a lot of people in the USA, so United States you are repping, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, all across Europe, India. Wow, it's just amazing to think how far my videos have gone. Um, so on the 29th, I'm going to be live from nine o'clock. That's the official start time, um, which makes it in in the United King, not the United Kingdom, in New York, you're five, hour, five hours behind, so that will make it three o'clock there in the afternoon. And in um, Texas, I think that makes you two o'clock in the afternoon. And then Canada, Alberta time, you will be 1 p.m., one in the afternoon. Um, and then New Zealand, you'll be 9 a.m. on December 30th and Australia Victoria time you'd be 7am um, on the 30th. So I used a little website called worldtimeserver.com which I'll put here for you. So if you put in that it will be um, 9 o'clock London United Kingdom GMT time um, then it will then tell you what time it is wherever you are and hopefully you can join me. I think I'm going to start, I'm going to be here about half eight in the evenings. So anyone in the United Kingdom, hopefully you can catch me. And then I'll be here probably until about half nine. Um, so hopefully that gives you all enough time to, to catch me, whether it's only for ten minutes. Even if you can only catch ten minutes, then just come along and say hi. And on that live session, which... I don't know to be, whether to be nervous about because usually when I record this I have like three or four false starts I'm just going to be live and there's no editing so that's going to be yeah that's going to be different um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a question and answer so you can start putting your questions on the comments of this video or you can save them and ask me on the day they can be any about anything, though I'm not going to be going, you know, real up close personal, telling you where I'm living, all that sort of stuff. Um, I will be keeping some things private, but I want you to ask lots and lots of questions. Um, so more to get, so that you can get to know me more, so you can get to know more about HGDC. Um, I know sometimes it can be frustrating. You're watching all these videos from a creator and then you don't get a chance to ask them something, you just wanna say, hang on a minute, what about? So this is your chance, guys. Um, I was gonna try and do it like next weekend, which is the 15th, 16th, but with the run up to Christmas and my birthday, it's just, it's just not possible. I think more of you can join if we do it on the 29th. And I just thought it'd be nice as a little sort of um, recap of 2018 as well, like, just a nice way to finish 2018 going into 2019. We can have a little tribe gathering. So let me know if you can join that. It'd be really nice to um, 
see you all there. Hopefully there'll be at least a couple of you, otherwise that'll be embarrassing. Um, so yes, get thinking of your questions. If you want to comment them below now or if you just want to ask them on the day, that's fine. So 29th of September, September? 29th of December 2018, 9pm GMT London, Daylight Saving Hours. I am going to be here and hopefully you will too. Right, now that's out of the way. I can put my notebook down. I was amazed at how many places the tribe live. It's just, wow. And actually the majority of my viewers are in the UK and America. So I thought it'd be relatively easy to pick a time, but America has like nine different time zones. So we'll see how this one goes. And then if people really, really struggle, I can always do another one on another day at like, I could stay up till really late or early hours of the morning so that it's daytime where you are. Um, so yes, hopefully 29th we'll all be here. Okay, I've got two projects to show you. Um, one knitting, one crochet, so I'm a crowd pleaser today. Um, which one to start with? knitting because there's not as much to show. So in my project bag, in my Deathly Hallows project bag made by Josie Rose on Facebook, thank you girl, I have started some socks. I'm using Pom Pom Quarterly issue 23 and I started, oh, I've been looking for this envelope and look where I found it. <laughs> At least I found it. I literally was tearing my room apart thinking where could I have put it? Ah. I've started the fluorite socks. I shouldn't show you the pattern page, should I? Let me show you the big picture. That's the fluorite socks by Andrea Maori. And I think they're so, so pretty. And so I went to my grandma's last weekend um, to spend some time with her as we had a anniversary, bereavement anniversary and I took my big box of sock yarn which is all the way up there, you can't even see it and we picked out four colours so that I could do an ombre find your feed pair of fluorite socks. Are you ready to see this? I think you'll have already seen it now in my thumbnail. But anyway, I like a grand reveal. Reveal yourself. Okay, here we go. Da, da, la, da, da. Oh my goodness, look at those. So I wound the 20 gram minis and then I caked them into 10 gram balls. Um, and then I'm gonna be really, really annoying and say, I don't know the names of the minis. So I've got these four colours and I know three of them come from Fibre Factory because she sent me a big package like this time last year. And then another one is the Martins Tough Sock and I helpfully don't have the yarn band. But what I do know is if anybody is kind enough to go back and watch my Edinburgh Yarn Festival vlog, they'll be able to find out which one of the Martins sock minis I'm using. And then if um, I can contact Fibre Factory and ask for the names of the ones she sent me. So I've got these minis. I've got this really deep jewel purple. Kind of reminds me of the granny square jumper I'm making in terms of colour. Can I just say, I've got a tripod and it makes this so much easier. So thank you Patreons for your support because I have a tripod and it's making my life so much better. This one has got some of that jewel purple from here, but it's got more blues, lilacs. Um, it's a bit more faded and that's gonna look really pretty knitted up. And then I go to this one, which has got a lot more pink in it. 
can't remember if we said we were doing it. Maybe, yeah, actually, I think I'm doing it this way. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing it this way. So that's got all the pinks and the jewels, and then that goes into a faded lilac, and then this is a really washed out. That reminds me of watercolours. Give them focus. It's got a pop of pinks, slight bit of turquoise, and it has a very, I was going to say faded, very pale um, lilac, almost, almost very faded turquoise. And it's got strands of pink, baby pink, hot pink, turquoise in there so that's whoa careful there that's gonna be my fade and these are getting really messy and then I started the socks so this sock pattern you knit them inside out so as to avoid all the pearl stitches which is definitely something new and I had to use the Turkish cast on I've got this little bit here and I've got a Christmas tree stitch marker because these are my advent socks. Um, that's a charm I made, sorry, that's a stitch marker I made myself with a charm that I bought from eBay. Now these need frogging and I haven't done it yet simply because I wasn't sure how to make one pearl one and I sat in church and I needed something to knit on but I just I wasn't increasing them and I couldn't figure it out and then I quickly watched um, I would rather just sit and knit even though I know I'm going to frog it than sit there and do nothing so I sat and knitted on them well it was purling because they're inside out and then I quickly watched a video realised how I should increase them I've done a couple of practice rounds increasing so now I need to rip it back and start again and also because can you see that hole in there? Look at that hole! For some, I don't even know how I managed that, but on both sides of the sock, on that side, I don't know if you can see that one, I've managed to not close it up as I've gone up the sock. So they need frogging. In fact, That's getting frogged. I'm using my Knit Pro Zings 2.5 mils. I absolutely adore these needles. I would quite like to get some more. Um, and I can't remember the length of the cable, but I get them quite long because I do two at a time. So this will be the third time that I will have started these socks. But I tend to, I tend to restart three times and third time is always a charm third time lucky so i want to crack on with these not least because i'm going to want them for service tomorrow and also because they're supposed to be my advent socks so the idea was as i'm gonna i was gonna work out because in the pattern you need to work out how long you want your socks so you know when to swap color it's going to work out how many rows there were and how many I'd need to do over the course of December to get them done, which I can still do, but today is the 8th, so I'm going to have like 8 days worth of knitting to add into these. Uh, never mind. So, I have just shown you and frogged the very small bit of my Advent 2018 socks. Um, but it was fun to learn the new cast on method and I am going to sit and do those at some point hopefully today and get get cracking make a good a big oh my goodness words make a decent dent in that in these socks today um I only need 50 grams for a pair of socks so these are going to be purposely longer than what I, I usually make um, these are going to annoy me because they're spilling their guts so yes they're going to be I usually I have them quite low down just above my ankle um, these are going to be a lot higher and I intend to use all of the yarn so we'll see how we get on with that 
I've just added my stitch marker to the zip. Let's put the pattern back in there so it's all ready to roll. Granddad's blanket. I hope you can't hear next door because it's sound like they're having a party. But I've just put the Christmas tree on there. I've got a candy cane and the Deathly Hallows symbol. The Deathly Hallows, whoopsie. The Deathly Hallows symbol came with the bag. So that's my knitting project, which I'm going to recast on um, and hopefully get done. Um, especially because now I'm starting to visit family members to drop off Christmas cards and whatnot. I mean, you know, when you sit there and you just have a chat, then I can crack on with those. And then in my Marauders Map bag by Josie Rose, covered in Harry Potter pins. Uh, Lisa of Raspberry Crochet sent that one to me, thank you. This one I brought when I went to Edinburgh Yarn Festival in the Harry Potter shop that's there. So it's 10 points to Gryffindor. And then I've got the, oh my goodness, I've got Darcy hair, that's for sure. I've got the um, Terranium Plant Person from Geofloor. And I've got this one. That was from Edinburgh Yarn Festival 2018. That was from Yarndale 2018. And my yak badge fell off earlier. My yak badge keeps falling over and falling off. So that needs to go back on here. I nipped out and I left this on my bed and I came back and Darcy was like curled up around it which is cute but then it's so fluffy okay project you've seen my bag a million times but I just love it go check out Josie Rose on Facebook um and then you can put your pin collection on it too okay out comes the sparkly black yarn that I got from a pound shop because I've got an amazing project in here. Ooh. Okay, are you ready to see what I've been up to? <laughs> so much to tell you. Okay, oh gosh. Yarn bath. Yarn bath. Okay, I am making a pair of crochet leggings, pants. And this is what I've got so far. Oh dear. And now I. So this is the back. Um. The waistband's there, they're high waisted, so they will be up here on me, all the way down to my hips. And then at the hip point, I made the crotch, which I hate that word, and I'm onto one of the legs, and I'm literally at the top of my thigh. They look a bit random, I know they do. I have quickly um, picked up the other side of this with one of the other balls. This one, as you can see, I've frogged some of it, and I just did two or three rounds, and then I tried them on to check that this bit would sit properly, wasn't in the wrong place, because there'd be nothing worse than doing the entire leg on this one to realise I'd done it, I'd done the, like the crotch wrong. So I have checked that, and although it looks weird, like that bit looks weird, it is as it should be. Now I have so many stitch markers on here. Um, I am on to my third ball of yarn. Yeah, so join one is just here. And every time I try it, because I haven't sewn them in, I didn't want to sew it in in case I needed to frog anything back because that makes it a lot more difficult. But now every time I try them on, 
um, that join pause and I every time I think oh, I've missed a stitch, how have I missed a stitch? I just need to darn the ends in. Um, and then I've joined on the second ball there. So they're 50 gram balls and I'm on to the third one um, and I'm about a third of the way into the third one, which is not bad going. Um, so it's 150 grams and I've got two legs to go and I bought 600 grams so I think I should have more than enough but we shall see crochet is a yarn eater so why have I got all of these janglies on here um I was gonna take them off but I wanted to show you this so I've left it just for this recording session and I cannot wait to take them off now every stitch marker shows an increase I needed to increase 36 stitches I think it was from waist to hips to have it to have these fit um, and because it's black yarn I needed to see where I was increasing and um, I did a couple of rounds without placing markers and when I, when I put the project down and went back to it which let's face it is quite frequent you know if you're doing couple of rounds while you wait for the kettle to boil or something like that you're constantly putting it down and then I was having to go back and look and try and work out where the double stitch was um, whenever I say that I want to say double stripe from Wreck-It Ralph but anyway but as you can see looking at that it's a great material but trying to pick out double stitches nightmare so to make it more manageable for me, I filled it up with stitch markers. I have chosen to increase down the side so that you won't really see it. Um, and I mean, even if I come close, I think you would struggle to see any double stitches. Um, so I have raided my charm my charm, my stitch marker collection. <laughs> I'll just show you a few. Um, the starfish, jellyfish, I, starfish, I made myself. Same with the cross and the bone. And I've got some scissors, which I bought from a lady getting rid of some of her, her duplicates. The mermaid one is um, one that was in my first ever sock box. And it's by... Esme's Buttons, um, absolutely love that. Then I've got a spinning wheel because I have done some spinning and I do hang out with some spinners now and then. I've got a dingle hopper. Oh gosh, they're wobbling everywhere. And come closer. A dingle hopper, which is a fork. Um, again, I bought from a lady getting rid of surplus. That holly wreath was from my sock box last Christmas, um, which I'm so glad I could finally bring it out again. I've got a little heart charm underneath it. And then I've got a star with a pearl on it. Um, this one I made myself, it's my HG. Then I've got my crescent moon and my Celtic knot slash wicker symbol that Lisa Raspberry sent me. And then, I've got a little budger. So we've got Christianity, Buddhism and Wicca. I'm all about inclusion and don't forget the mermaids because I know some people believe in that too. Then on the other side I have got, and these never sit the right way, I love knitting. I've got this one is a little pink flower. Oh dear. There we go. I've got a pink starfish. I've got another cross. That one is really thin and they bend, which is a bit annoying. I've got a set of buttons. Come on, maybe if I take my face out, it will focus. The sun has just come out and now you're getting the glint. 
Then I've got a measuring tape. Oh, it's making my arms ache. Can you see? Yes. I have got this star charm. There's another spinning wheel. I've got yet another cross, but that is actually my Thomas Sabo from a bracelet. Like I was starting to get desperate, so I went looking in my jewellery box. Can you see? Come on. And then I've got this yarn ball. Whoa. It's a skein really, isn't it? Come on. In this video, I struggle to make my camera work. <sighs> and I've got a rose with a red charm and a present because it's Christmas, y'all. Rose, present, the moon from Lisa Raspberry Crochet and a dumbbell because weightlifting is life. So, I've got all of those on there to show my increases. And I can finally take them off now, which means when I'm going round and round on the crochet leg, it's not going to annoy me. <laughs> um, so they're all, not all of, but the majority of my silver stitch markers. Um, now I'm just going round and round and round on the leg, which I am massively enjoying. It's... Um, it's built up really quickly, really, really quickly. So I think I had hopes that I would have the leg done, that leg done really, uh, and it's not. I didn't touch it at all last night. I did a very little, very, very small amount on the Thursday. So today, Saturday, I'm hoping that I can get, I don't know, maybe, maybe past my knee or to my calf. Um, Originally, I wanted this to be my birthday outfit, but I've got a week. I've got a week and a day. I've got to the 16th of December. But if it's not done, it's okay. I might have it done for our live on the 29th, which would be amazing. Um, so I know they look a bit random now, and I'm not going to try it on because this one is so high up that you can, like, it reveals too much here. So uh, you'll have to wait till I either put on some more of this leg or this leg is completely done and maybe I'll put some tights underneath. I have tried them on a hundred million times. They fit really well and it isn't that see-through. Like you can't really see a lot of my hand. Um, I have also tried them on with a pair of tights on underneath and then you can't see nothing at all. Um, so that's also another option that I could do, but I think I am probably just going to brave it and wear them with no tights, bare legs. But I am really, really pleased with them and I'm really, really enjoying making them. And now I can take off the jangles. It should be quicker because they keep catching on everything. <laughs> so, right. I am going to get going now so that I can do some more of this. Got a post office run to do. I've got um, giveaways to send out, Patreon things to send out, eBay purchases to send off, eBay sales rather to send off, um, and then I am going to hopefully get a big wedge of time to work on this. Don't you just love that yarn? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Right, so don't forget, I'm going to do a live session on the 29th of December at 9pm GMT time. I need to put that in my diary now, calendar to remind me. Um, I've watched a few other live sessions, so I've been thinking about my setup. So what I think I'm going to do is record on my phone and have my Mac here. So you lot will see me on my through this camera, I'll have my Mac there so I can see what you're saying to me 
Um, I shouldn't need to type, I can just talk to you, but then I can see what's coming up. Or I record off my Mac and then I have my phone here to see. I don't know, I've got to sort that out. Um, but now I have my new tripod, so thank you so much. Um, and next week I will be... I was gonna, I was gonna show you Christmas presents that I'm gonna make. Change my mind, I'm not making anybody anything this year. Nope, not gonna do it, nope. So, what am I gonna show you next week? Hopefully some finished crochet leggings. Because I wanna make a matching top. And also I'm doing the Rito yarn jumper, so they've got stuff on that that I can show you hopefully next week. Um, and then, so I always pre-plan the, these vlogs. I know what I'm gonna put out to you each week. And next week was supposed to be my live and I've changed it. And then I was gonna show you Christmas presents and I've changed that, I'm not making any. So yeah, we're just gonna roll with it. And hopefully I'll have advent socks, crochet leggings. I'm so excited to show you those on, like they look amazing. So stop rambling, gotta go. If you have any questions you want to ask me when I do the live session, comment below or make sure you save them somewhere so you can ask me on the day. And I will see you again next weekend. Um, I just want to say thank you to my Patreon so, so much for your support. I am about to book myself onto a course that teaches you how to um, do your own knitting and crochet patterns. Um, I was talking last week about how I was feeling a bit fearful about putting them out and I found this course and thanks to the support from Patreon that will all be paid for so that is absolutely great and hopefully that means that I will get projects patterns out to you soon so thank you so so much for my Patreons for your support if anybody else wants to go over there and check it out the link is below and thank you so so much for being here and being part of my tribe so have a great week. I'll see you next week. Peace. <laughs>